Hello, William Johnson here, and I'm gonna do a shorter shaker tutorial. So we're gonna play around, jump right into things. The last video was a little bit longer, and I thought it would be cool just to do a short one where I just jump into the various tricks and uh, techniques of the shaker, like this little guy right here. Pretty cool, huh? Well, you might not think so. I think it's pretty cool, pretty neat. Anyways, here's a couple cool tricks or things that I do with various shakers. So if you want the, the video that's a little more detailed, I'm talking a little more, giving all these other percussive anecdotes, check out the other video. It's a longer video. You'll see the minute timeline there. It's pretty long. Anyways, let's start with this. But before I even do that, don't forget to subscribe. It's a beautiful, warm, sunny day outside, and it would also warm my heart if you became one of the subscribers here at William Johnson Music on YouTube. Wouldn't that be awesome? I think it would be awesome. It'd be great. Love you. All right. Mino Luis Conte Shaker. Check it out. Love this shaker. One of my go-tos. This is how I hold it. I have a finger in between, which is my index finger, and then I have my thumb in the back. And then I have these three fingers, but often the main thing is this longest finger here, okay, right there. All right? So the way I'm holding it, sometimes I don't put a finger in between, but I often end up putting a finger in between there. And then instead of just doing a lot of this, which is cool if you want this accent, it's really in the wrist. But I break it down even further to more fine motor uh, control and to use this motion. See that? So this finger's in between, and I'm using this. I could play it straight and not do that if that's what the song is called for. Or see? So I'm doing all of. I'm breaking that down. Practice on wrist control, not just this. Okay. Although some of this is okay, I do some of this too. But if you notice. A lot, there's a lot more, this is just relaxed so that my wrist and everything can move forward and backwards, okay? That's really what's happening with my wrist more than anything else. And the elbow's going out because I'm relaxed right here, all right? But there's also a lot of that finger movement, okay? So if you don't wanna just play the one shaker, you wanna add sounds to it, you can go to a, a, a louder shaker this is the black mino luis conte shaker which they call i believe the live series there's three versions i love this one if i had to pick a shaker and i could only take one this probably would win out most of the time and which actually does but anyways i can go to this listen to the difference let's say you're playing it's part of the song there's a break back Playing with the drummers, doom, God. Then you go. See, already it's louder, it's harsher. This, the material inside is different. You have it here. So you can control the emotion of what's happening with that shaker. Break up the song, the set. Play with different shaker sounds. If you don't have, you only have that one shaker. I'm going to give you a do it yourself. That many of you probably already do, anyways. So. Or let's say this one is too loud, right? Or you just don't necessarily want that sound, right? Or you want it more, you can stack the shakers like that. Put your finger, if it's long enough to reach, and hold both shakers. And now you have the sound of both. One, stack. Why? You have your other hand free. You have stronger, different sounds, but now, Play a tambourine, chimes, another shaker. Right? Congas, bongos, whatever. What if that's not the sound you want? What if you have a nice soft sound and you want to double it with the crunchy sound? And inside of this Carolina table salt bottle, I have rice. Cool thing about it. Gives a nice lo-fi crunchy sound. And for the song, that may be the sound that does it just right. Experiment with different sounds. When you have a certain reverence for that instrument, you can become more uh, virtuosic and 
versatile in the palette and the way that you're able to manipulate in a good way the song okay so I could take this and if I stack it with this now I have a mix a combination of that crunchy and that soft ah it's music to my ears right maybe that's a little bit too much in this Mrs. Dash bottle I have couscous I can give this all kinds of energy, but because it's so soft, there's only a little bit of it in there, and it's plastic that cha that makes a difference depending on what it's made out of. Pla a gl glass would probably be a shimmier sound, more shimmery, brighter sound, but no matter how much energy I give at it, it's still gonna be much softer than that, okay? Which can be an added benefit. One, let's add Mrs. Dash's couscous in here. And it's slightly different, right? Now, Miss Dash doesn't sell couscous, I don't think. I had an empty bottle, and I put couscous in there as an experiment. And I have fallen in love with it, and it's been one of my go-to for ballads, for worship songs that are slower and very and, um, intimate. And I just, you know, you feel stuff and experiment in there. And then this has become one of my favorites. The one in the beginning of the video is a Minel Spark Shaker. It's metal and inside I think are BBs inside of here silver pellets like little ball bearings and it's metal on metal which adds I love that you add that with some synthesizers and stuff like that you can get all kinds of really neat different sounds in here you just pan it if you pan it, a couple different mics, if you're on, the, uh, on stage with different mics or in the studio, you can get some kind of cool stereo effect. But here's the thing, your hand makes a big difference. Where you place your hands on shakers, how tight you hold them, all of that makes a big difference. How much real estate you cover on the shaker, how much space makes a big difference. Watch this, metal, Shimmery, bright, metallic. All of a sudden, it's crunchy, underwater, lo-fi type of sound shaker. Just a little bit, and I get a little bit of that metallic shimmer. Let go a little more, we get more. Let go, I get a little more. See that? So I can control it. Now it sounds like somebody's chewing in, like a, in a rhythmic fashion on Captain Crunch or something. What am I doing? I'm squeezing the shaker. I'm adding and taking away different amounts of tension and it controls the sound. Mino UFO shaker, same thing. But what I love about this is I can create that tension, but I can also release with a certain amount of fingers how much I'm holding and that creates an accent. Without it, and I'm just doing this here. One, two, three, four, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now watch on that second beat. I will release two fingers to give you the peace sign. That's not exactly what I'm doing. There's a practical reason. And I open it up and it can create a whole accent from it. So you experiment with it. If I hold it tight, changes the sound. Hold it looser, changes the sound, right? Pretty cool, huh? All right, that's a pretty cool thing, I think. Along that vein, you have a toka shaker that looks like a little drum. Really, it is a little drum. It's got silver pellets again, little BBs in there. And if I hold it like this and play it as a shaker, it's one thing. But if I throw the BBs towards the head of the drum. I can make a back beat. What about that thumb on the back? If I also open that at certain places, I can create a different sound like ka -ka, ka -ka. All kinds of different sounds you can get.
right? So just cool, little things that you can add playing around with the shaker sounds. Now, here's a little bonus, here's a little thing that I added in the last video. Here in the States, we have hardware stores like Ace Value, Ace uh, Hardware Store, True Value, Lowe's. When I was in an Ace Hardware Store, and it came across these little brooms, you may have seen them before, right? And I thought, hey, I mean, two of them, I think, it was for two, it was like $6. It's like, wow, that's a pretty good price. Wonder if I, I like the way it feels. If I cut this off, I can have a nice open broomstick like drumsticks. I have different broomsticks that I use. And it opens it up and makes it softer. And listen to that. Right on a, on a drum. On the side, which is much different than if it was tight like this. Right? You get more of that p -p 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 -k of a sound because it's stiffer. So the broomsticks themselves make a nice, soft, different texture to it. This is also great for singer-songwriters, acoustic worship sets, uh, different types of ballads, you name it. More of a bluegrass, country type sound, train beats. Think about something like this on a snare, nice fat snare, kind of soft. Just a different sound. Gives a, you know. And, and that's what I'm all about. So anyways, I just took some scissors and cut the, the blue part off there, six bucks. Now, maybe I'll do a review on some companies that actually make those because they make all different kinds of custom ones. I'm thankful for them as well. But you know, there's a lot of DIY, do-it-yourself stuff you can do. Back to the shakers real quick. Don't have a shaker? You'll want more sounds? Well, when you're done with your basil, or your cilantro, or what, or your seasoning salt, and you have that container, experiment. Go outside, fill rocks in there, put dirt, use pennies, use nickels, use bottle caps. Look, I got a whole big thing right here of bottle caps. Right? There's all kinds of things you can do. Take some stuff and put it, put it in, inside of there. Cut up something metal, don't cut yourself now, and put it inside a container. Try a glass container, try a larger container, try an oatmeal container, whatever. Experiment with it, play with it, don't be afraid to take it up on stage. Use black electrical tape if you have to, to tape it up so it, you don't have the Quaker uh, logo on there, you know? But just experiment with it. Anyways, this has been really fun. I hope you've enjoyed it. If there's something that helped you out, uh, hit a like, give me some comment, feedback, hit me up here or at William Johnson Music at Gmail, and please subscribe. Again, it's a nice, sunny, warm day, and it would make me feel so nice and warm inside if you came along this journey. All right, I'll see you soon.